Greetings everybody, welcome to Apple Arabia. Today we're going to talk about something different. Today we're going to talk about quantum mechanics and the effect on our life, physical life. So uh, I want to write some formulas and we talk about the theory of quantum mechanics, how we can calculate. There's multiple, you know, theories. There is uh, the first thing we'll talk about, the assumption that, you know, about the energy, you know, energy at uh, quanti, uh, quanti, uh, quantizator. If this particle is uh, a ball and the ball is moving with a velocity v, then E equal one half mv square, you know, mass and velocity square. Uh, this V can be anything, you know, 9.0 far, uh, 9.0008, uh, uh, 15, 150, it could be anything. But in quantum, we talk about this very, very uh, delicate, you know, uh, you know, like in the light beam, you know, very, very small uh, velocity. Uh, you know, the velocity can be anything, but it's going to be, you know, the, the, this, the, the location is this very delicate, you know, the particle. So uh, we call this particle uh, for, uh, photons. Okay, and the energy equal the H was a consonant times the F. Okay, so this thing is you know, this uh, quantum, you know, is uh, because we don't know the, 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 the actual you know, uh, location of this, uh, uh, this uh, particle, right? So, uh, there is certain equation of this particle, right? We'll, we'll go through it now in a moment. Uh, see this the ball and the ball is uh, moving in a, a speed no like in the light okay so in this we don't know the x and y uh, coordinate you know where is, where is location it makes a difference in, in quantum mechanics so uh, the thing is how we solve it how we go about it well uh, we go about you know this uh, kind of uh, you know, it's just a way that we can predict uh, the location of this uh, to the closest. Now we have the delta P or delta X is less than or equal H with a consonant over 2 pi. Now we don't know the delta X which is the location, you know, delta P is the photons, okay. So what we do is we do some calculation about this. Again, it is a bit complicated, but it's going to make it simpler. So we say delta x is less than or equal h over this uh, 2 pi, or we make it as short with a th, okay? So uh, the same, which is uh, x less than or equal uh, 1 over uh, th, 1 over delta p. And uh, P is like within 1% of accuracy, okay? So this is one way of, uh, one of these formulas of uh, calculating, you know, the quantum. Uh, delta E, delta T is less than or equal TH, okay? This is another uh, simpler form of calculating the uh, actual positive of the of the uh, this uh, photon or, or particle okay uh, there is another uh, one uh, we talk about is that uh, it is very delicate but it's very important you know I know people don't like mass but uh, just bear with me in the end of the video I'll tell you what's about it. There's, uh, there's another one or the third uh, one of calculating is based on the uh, particles are waves you know like when you when you throw like a, a rock uh, inside the uh, water pond it, it, it makes like uh, like waves you know like little waves right this kind of waves so uh, they say this particle could move also as waves so we do this uh, calculation based on on, on the waves uh, function right 
So this we, uh, is another, also one of the, uh, the, cal the formulas that we use in calculating, you know, like the uh, De Broglie, uh, you know, this uh, uh, waves uh, function, right? Uh, again, uh, we could make a video about this, but we, it's something like, you know, uh, the symbol lambda equal H, which is the constant, constant over P. No, uh, this is uh, we can make it in a, in, a, in you know the elaborate more about this wave function. We see uh, the uh, electrons. Okay, the uh, must uh, be uh, described right as you know psi psi is a Greek letter, right? Uh, we make it like simpler, right? So this uh, psi. We use it to calculate, you know, the uh, the uh, waves uh, functions in in, in, in physics and in, in engineering as well, especially in in the delicate, uh, you know, uh, you know, formulas. So we say the we have to go probability, right? So we go to probability density of this uh, photon or particle is uh, related to uh, this uh, psi square absolute value of psi square okay so uh, it's the way that we can calculate the you know the probability which is uh, very close but because it cannot be accurate right so we have to do this uh, formulas that is a bit complicated to describe you know the, the actual you know uh, probability of this you know uh, the uh, of this uh, uh, photon and therefore uh, we can do something like you know uh, how how we calculate how we do this you know uh, quantum so if we do this uh, by you know uh, this kind of uh, quantum mechanics uh, formulas which is you know have been uh, came up to to make it more uh, simpler for us uh, to solve this one famous german <laughs> name is uh, how do know, is scorger uh, scorger equation uh, which is uh, the actual uh, now uh, practical uh, one of the ways of calculating the main one calculating this uh, uh, quantum mechanics so uh, it's something like uh, d uh, square lambda over d x square where x equal the uh, coordinate and the y equal the wave uh, function okay so uh, we first one will equal negative k square y or d square over y dx equal to plus k square y, right? So it is a this or that, or we can add them both together and uh, we make it into one equation, which is uh, d square y over uh, yeah d. Yeah, we can add them together by, uh, we say, d square y or uh, sine of dx, and we have the cosine of kx, okay, which is the uh, time, the constant, we say, a1 and a2, and uh, we, uh, we can add them all together by saying uh, y, a1 sine of kx plus a2 of uh, time sine of kx. Uh, this is uh, one way of calculating the probability of the uh, of this uh, quantum mechanics, and uh, we solve it. Now, how will this affect us on the real life? There is so many things that we don't understand in the world, and in this kind of uh, quantum understanding will help us understand something like intangible stuff. For example, I don't know, like little many things. For example, like the birth, the people horoscope. We will say I was born in, on, on, in August, I'm a Leo. People with Leo, they have certain character. And people were born in Virgo. I'm talking, I'm talking about prediction. I'm talking about the actual character, the effect of the birth. There's a science of it, right? The science about, you know, the energy, you know, positive and negative energy. And there's so much we don't understand. So, but while understanding this kind of quantum mechanics, it helps us to enlighten us to be better understanding of the world around us. I hope this is interesting. Make you more study about quantum. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.